Alrighty folks, this is Nasos. Welcome back for another episode of Magic Farm 2. I'm hanging out at the house and I've just been kind of watching the quarry a little bit off camera. Had a few different things going on. I thought I'd uh, uh, go ahead and record for a bit here and get you guys up to speed on a few things. So I've been playing with that lava issue where, remember, we ran out of lava and I thought it was because I added too many engines. Turns out that's got nothing to do with it. Um, it looks like the nether isn't loading sometimes when you start the game because the pump is over there and it should chunk load and uh, that's how we get lava. But it looks like that's not always happening for some reason and I'm not quite sure why. So I reconfigured things a bit. Instead of outputting lava directly back here, I went turned that connection off. Can't see it from here. Uh, I turned that connection off and I have it outputting to the front, going into a lava drum, and then I've got a, a cover below it. But it's basically going underneath, back up, and then through here, and pumping in that way. So what that does is gives me a nice 256 buckets of buffer. And what I can do is come down here and take a look and say, oh, okay, is this thing draining or not? And sometimes when I log in, it is draining. And other times when I log in, it's not draining. So... Um, yeah, so there's one thing I did, and I've got all these engines except the last one turned on, and I'm still getting a net gain, so figured there was really no point in turning that last one on. And if you take a look, yeah, here. This guy's just idling right now. This guy's eh, not quite idling, but, you know, got plenty of power. So power is good. Uh, the other thing is, since I was messing around going back and forth to Nether, I went ahead and made a book so I don't have to jump down into that Nether portal all the time. So let's just take the book real quickly here. So if I do see that it's draining and like the nether's not loaded and it's not pumping out of here, I can just boom, pop into here. And I'm right in the little shack. All right, now I was in and out of here several times and I thought, well, why don't I have a door, right? So let's put in a door. And we want an iron door, of course. Of course, of course. So let's throw an iron door in. I'll put an obsidian plate here so only I can open it. And on the inside, I'll put a wooden plate. So if something does end up in here, I don't know how it would happen, but if something does end up in there, they'll, they'll, you know, the wooden plate will work for it and they'll be able to get out. So there's that. Yeah, I don't know if I've shown this on camera. I've been here and back a few times, but you can see all the all the lava here that's been replaced with stone by the uh, endothermic pump there and it's still searching and, and it's doing kind of a weird pattern because I thought it was going out this way but now I see it's kind of going over here a bit so I don't know where exactly it's pumping out of but it's doing its thing and it's it's getting all the lava out for us and we can see that this is I, I don't know if there's any range on that but we can see there's lots of lava here so and this should be really deep, you know. We're we're pretty out, pretty far out in the middle here. So there should be lots and lots and lots of blocks of lava. And if this ever runs dry, there's plenty of other places for for lava in the area. I think there's yeah, right across here. There's a nice big lake of it, and I'm sure there's plenty of others too. Like don't fall down there, guys. You're gonna get burned up. <laughs> Maybe they don't care about the lava. Hmm. All right, anyway, so that was one oh, infernal uh, pig man there. All right, so that was just one quick thing. Um, what else? Oh, I know. I just made, going downstairs here, I just made the first, well, first of all, I realized I didn't actually need nine because to write the schematic, you just, you know, even if you only have one, let me just get one. You can just drag it because it's just a, a shadow. It doesn't really uh, put the items in there. So you only need one and then you can set up this. But anyway, I set up the schematic for quintip quintiple, quintuple, there we go, quintuple compressed cobblestone. And I wanted to put that in. Oh, yep, and I had nine, so there we went. So I we went from nine of them that are 6,400 each to one of them that is now... 59,000 cobblestone in this one block. Yeah, so we'll 
be able to uh, store a lot of cobblestone in this one stack of uh, output for the moment. Now that is not the as far as you can go. You can go all the way to eight times, I think it is. So we're at five, and if we get you know like a million cobblestone or something, I can continue this line or maybe go around the corner here because these do need power. So I can bring it around the corner, whatever. Uh, but yeah, things are going pretty good here. I was just kind of keeping an eye on it. Oh, I added this off a of camera, and I haven't turned it on yet. Uh, my thought was I could pull stuff out of this diamond chest and put it straight into the system just by piping right across there. But I haven't done that quite yet. And I'm not quite sure I want to, because if I turn that on without any filters, it would just pull everything out of here, put it in the system. And the bees might... I don't know what bees do in an AE system. I looked at them and all the princesses are 13 341s. So it doesn't matter if it's Rocky or Valiant or whatever. And all the drones are 13 340s. So I'm not sure how AE system would handle that. If it'll remember which is which and if this will take up a bunch of uh, types or not. But I just figured I'll leave them in here for the moment. So taking a look at this, it looks like Appetite lapis and flint are probably the three things I want to handle next because that would take care of most of the multiple stacks here. Now I had a couple options. I can just, oh I can't because that's already got a blacklist on it. Mm. Oh but I could whitelist on this end. I have to install a servo. So, so you can actually do both ends, right? I can blacklist this and make sure none of the metal goes in here. That makes sure it always goes down here. Uh, and then if I also want to use another black or white list, I can do it on this end once I install a servo. So I could just whitelist um, Appetite, Lapis, and Flint. And then that would only see those three items as valid and they would just pull out the right in the system. So that's one option. But Last time we were messing around, I, I did these DSUs, and I thought, you know, we could do that, or we could do um, the Java barrels. Oh, and I've actually got the search up here. So I thought, you know what, let me just play with the Java barrels this time. So let's go make uh, three Java barrels and, I guess, three storage buses, because these, these only go one direction. You can't put something on top and have... Uh, double use out of those guys. Alright, so the basic barrels are super easy, right? Just a chest and some wood. That should be no big deal. Let's get three of those. And I want to, I don't have to, you can use them just like this and they'll, stay, they'll, they'll be like a normal barrel, 64 stacks of uh, whatever item you put in them. But I want to mess with them and let's just do a simple upgrade. Uh, fences. Okay, good. And these are the fancy fences. I'm just checking because that might have been a problem. All right, fences and that. So I don't know why NEI didn't quite work there, but that's okay. It got two of them and not the others. Uh, so let's do three of these. And last I checked, you do have to do these in order. So you can't just like go straight to one of the high level uh, upgrades. So let's go What's this going to take? This is going to take three slots, and this is going to give us one. Right. Um, okay, Mark II would give us three slots. Let's do that. So let me make some of these. We'll just try it. I haven't, haven't messed with these in a while, actually. So they may have changed. I don't know. Okay, so this adds the structure for upgrades. And now we're going to want some upgrade slots. And apparently... You make this guy. Oh, that's the mark one or level one. Okay, so that would double it, and then you can do a level three, which would obviously give you another three. Okay, so pistons and the barrels themselves. All right, let's make six pistons. It's a little bit expensive, I guess, for. Uh, an upgrade? I don't know. Not too bad, I guess. Alright, and then we should be able to make these. Oh, and that means I need to make new barrels. Hmm. Alright. 
No problem. I like three more barrels. Cool. Okay, and we want to make storage buses too. Let's do that. Storage bus. Um, need three I mean interfaces. We're just going to take three of those. I think I made some more processors. Yes. Two, three. And yeah, that should do. One, two, three. Cool. So we've got storage buses, we've got barrels, we've got structure upgrades. I'll try applying a Mark, uh, Mark II directly, but I think you have to do them in order. We'll see. Okay, let's go down and put these down. And then, um, whoops, one more level. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, what I'm going to want, I'm going to have to put some temporary blocks here, I think. It wouldn't have to be temporary, but they can be. One, two, three. I think I'm going to put them right here, and then I can put the storage buses on top right there. That should work. Uh, better barrel, better barrel, better barrel. Mm -hmm. Let's break this and get our storage buses out. Uh, that's going to be a little bit hard to get on here. Let's do, there we go. Because you have to hold shift, otherwise you open the barrels um, inventory instead of placing the block. So there we go. Let's turn off the flight. Okay, so this guy right now, if we look at the whale of tips, says 64 stacks max, upgrade slots, zero, zero. So let's, well, I don't know, I'll just try the Mark II. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. I put it in there instead of doing the thing. All right. All right. What is it? You shift right click. There you go. Yes. You need to apply at least a Mark one. Okay. So put on the Mark one. Now we have one of one on each and for the heck of it, we'll do the iron upgrades. Yeah. Okay. So now we got three upgrade slots, not four. Remember the wood one gave us one and the iron one said three, but it's not, cumulative it's just um, yeah it's just just whatever the top tier says all right so let me see these guys because it's not going to store anything in there until we tell it what to put in there I think oh. uh, but anyway we're going to want appetite uh, lapis and flint so let me put a flint in here a lapis in here and that guy in there. Now, oh yes, that was the thing I remembered. Well, you know what? That'll work. I was going to say, um, I was thinking about bringing item ducks around and up somehow because we got to get item ducks into these, but we don't because they're part of the AE network. All we got to do is put these three items into the AE network, aka that guy. And since these are designated storage, it should go here first. Now you can mess with the priority, but I, I think since these are already designated as a storage uh, bus, oh, you know what we probably need to do is partition it. There we go. That should make sure that it uses these first. Since it's partitioned, that should be higher priority than non-partitioned storage. All right, so let's get a pneumatic servo. Oh, I didn't put in the upgrades, did I? Huh. Okay, so so it can take up to three, but I'm just gonna, okay. I'll just put the one in for now. Yeah. There we go. 128 stacks max. So if I get over 128 stacks of these, then I can add some more uh, upgrades. And there is a way to get those upgrades back out. Oh, but if you take the upgrade out while it has stuff in it, then you're gonna have problems. Let's see, that locks it. Um, oh, I think I need the hammer. Let's do that. So, yeah, I should probably, I should probably do a bigger upgrade now. What? Why, why you have no, oh, I added more stuff. So 5.3, we gotta up, turn this guy up even further. Whoops, that's not the right button. 
right, one of these five point. Um, all right, right here. I guess the control wasn't held down. But uh, five point five or fifty five should do it. Is this in AEs or MJs? Yes. All right. So that was almost an oops. Um, let's go back to Java. And we've got different barrel handlers. Storage, void, creative. Hmm. Tuning, okay. Tuning fork is for tuning the, the ender one. This guy, the B space. I may have to look this up, but let's try the storage hammer. Uh, there's no recipe. Okay, let me go check on this. I'm not quite sure how to do it, and I'll be back in a moment. All right, folks. I think I had it there just as I was uh, stopping the video, but basically you make the better hammer, and then it can cycle modes, and that's why there's all these other ones. So it's the one on the very left here. We'll make that guy simply iron and sticks, no big deal. And now if I hold that and I shift right click, you can change it into different modes. So there's redstone, uh, void, I don't know. <laughs> so interesting, seems to disappear. That must be void. Okay, so normal. So in normal mode, it can remove any upgrade. If you want to remove only specific upgrades, uh, then you need to switch it to a different mode. All right, so let me just get these out of here for the moment. And shift right click should remove all upgrades in this mode. And I've made up a few more of these, so let's combine them like so, and we'll get the triple upgrades. So. And again, shift right click, don't put it in there directly. And now I can do 256 stacks instead of 64. And I think that will be enough to hold us over for quite some time. And yeah, I can just add more upgrade slots to this later. Right, that's cool. I think if I were to leave it where I had used one of three, I couldn't remove it. Uh, once it's got two full stacks in there, it would cause problems. And then, um, but the way it is now, I can make another upgrade and do that. So anyway, trying to think and talk, and it's not working as usual. All right, let's add a pneumatic servo here, and let me get one each of these guys, and we're going to whitelist uh, with an open hand. I'm going to whitelist just these three things for the moment. So let's only allow these guys through this pipe. Okay, and I, uh, yeah, I've blacklisted that, and I've also made this the last place things can go. So cobblestone won't go through here uh, because of this, and also because that's whitelisted. So this should be safe. Let's turn this on. And stack size 64 should be fine. There. Oh no, bees are going? Did it take bees? Oh, it just looked like bees. <laughs> I'm like, oh, geez, it's taking bees. Why is it doing that? Okay. Hey, and they even update properly. So bam, there we go. Three stacks of flint, six stacks of lapis, and seven stacks of appetite all in the system. Of course, for the cost of a, a little bit more power. But hey, you know what? We'll deal with that. So, that's a pretty cool upgrade, and that takes care of the biggest issues here. Um, yeah. So, I could... Yeah, let's do that. Let me have it bring in diamonds and emeralds, too. Uh, that... Oops, not there. Here. So, we'll, we'll whitelist diamonds and emeralds, get them out of the chest down here, and send them on up to... So send them on into the system, and that's going to take care of most of the issues down here. If I sort it at the right time, I think that cobble, there we go, cobble will go to the end. I don't know why, I just like that better. Um, just so, I mean, I can continue whitelisting if I want Certus Quartz. Oh, why not? Let's do that. We probably do want that in the system. So we're going to run out of things that we can 
wait list on here in a minute. And then I'll have to get more creative, maybe route it down a different direction and bring it in from somewhere else or something like that. But uh, Or I could bring another pipe up like through the ceiling and go into the top face or through the back and go in the back face. Or So there's options. But I think this takes care of most of the issues. Uh, yeah, okay. One other thought I had was let's get a chest. A uh, gold chest would be perfect. Another pneumatic servo. An item duct. Or two. And my hammer. Crescent hammer. Looks more, looks more like a wrench, but whatever. And if I go this direction, don't know why I need two. Oh. Well, if I put it there, I can't open it because there's a block above it. Can I break that or is that the floor? Yeah, that's the floor. All right, so let's go down one. I'll get one more item duct here. And we'll put in a pneumatic servo. We'll switch that direction. Let's grab one more item duct. And put that guy right here. And what I wanted to do here is whitelist the bees. So remember I said the, the princesses are all 13341 and the drones are all 13340. So if I go into this guy and I whitelist princess and drone and then I say don't use, yeah, ignore NBT, uh, ignore metadata, I think it's NBT on these guys, I don't know. But basically ignore NBT and metadata. That anything that's a 13340 or a 13341 will be uh will match that filter. So this should take all of the bees and shoot them right over into that gold chest. Let's do that. Go bees go. Nice. All right. So, there's still a few things, obviously, we could do here, but um, this looks pretty good. I mean, that's going to handle most everything, and I'm just going to wait and see what else kind of shows up. At some point, I think basically we'll have it to the point where everything in this chest, we want it to go away, right? So, um, at that point, maybe I can remove some of the white, white lists here, or the filters here and maybe it will just pump all the items out something like that i'm not sure we'll work on that in a bit but that looks pretty good for the moment so let me take a quick break here and i'll be back uh after a bit all right folks and we're back uh just a few minutes left on this episode looks like but i had a couple things going on um i came upstairs and i noticed that these bottom two drives were still unused and i figured that's not going to last long and I've definitely got enough materials to upgrade these from 1Ks to uh, 4Ks. So I figured I'd do that. And I showed this one other time, but if you take your drives out and they're empty, and you shift right click, it will actually take out the, uh, you get the housing, and then you get the storage cell that was inside the housing. I already made one of these upgrades, but basically if you take this, and then if you have the housing, you can just add a uh, larger storage piece to it, and now that becomes a 4K drive. So let me do the other one here real quickly. Um, let's go to uh, 4K. And if you look at the recipe here, you can see it takes that storage segment plus all this stuff to make it directly shaped crafting. But if you go to shapeless crafting, here you can see the other option is if you already have a housing, you can just put a new uh, storage segment in it of various sizes. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. I need to make this, which, what did, what, 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 why, no, hang on. I need to make this, oh, right, because those are in my pack there. And I guess I made one extra, but that's fine. I'm sure I'll use it at some point. All right, so that'll give us two, um, I don't know why I'm putting them down there, because we have to craft them here, obviously. That'll give us two 4K storage units. 
Now we could pre-format these. Uh, the way these storage units work is the more different types you use, the less of each type it'll store. Uh, there's a bunch of funny math that goes on and it's not completely obvious. But if you only have one type on here, I think even the 1K storage will, will store like 100, 127 stacks of that. So it's, it's not 1024 items. That's that's wrong. It's not the bytes is not the number of items. It's uh, it's some math determined by how many types you're using, and of course the total number of bytes available. At any rate, the other thing I noticed was my um, lovely crystal chest here, which is completely uh, upgraded. It's a diamond chest plus the crystal upgrade just to make it look pretty. Is full and like really full. So I could do some work. I could move stuff out of here and into the system. You know, there's some different options. But one simple thing is just do this. And this is going to compress the heck out of this stuff. So right there, I just got rid of all the copper that was in the chest plus any copper that was in the system. And now we have just some blocks of copper. So maybe I need to look at something better, especially if we keep doing the um, um, quarry. But I think each one of these is about 600. So we've got 1,270 iron. If I do this, we have 700 iron. So a little less than 600, I guess. So bam, blocks and blocks and blocks of iron and tin. And we'll... Be, we'll continue getting this stuff. Uh, now I'm not just shift clicking it back in here because I want to, well, I guess I could. Hmm. I was going to say I want it to go back in the chest, but I guess it wouldn't have to. At any rate, I just thought I would clean this up a little bit and then I can uh, reformat the chest so it will Except these. Oh yeah, I made some more nether quartz ore. Right, so if I just throw these guys in here. Oh, look at that. That is that is significantly cleaned up. And then I can throw these in here. Or I could have thrown them in the AE drives, I guess. Wouldn't have mattered. Um, you know what? Let's Yeah, let's do that. Let's just keep this for raw ingots as they come in. And then we'll put the actual... Um, blocks into the system. There we go. Okay, so not a permanent fix, but a quick and easy thing we can do to just kind of uh, clean up that chest real quickly. Now, when it ran out, of course, it didn't stop. Uh, looks like I'm out of power. Why am I out of power? A oh, glimmer of light, thank you. 6.2. Oh, guess I added something else. Let's crank that up a bit for a moment. So when you're transferring large, uh, actually, let's just turn it all the way up. Probably doesn't even matter anymore. I could probably just leave that on. But when you're transferring large numbers of items, it actually takes a bunch of power away. So you can see, even though this is taking 6.2 and I'm giving it 80 or 8, um, it's kind of struggling to build up its internal buffer there because it's got all that stuff going on downstairs with importing blocks and I just moved tons of stacks of them but uh, yeah it was just a little bit low for some reason so let me just turn down to 70 for now again at this point probably doesn't really matter we've got all the power we need but early on definitely want to um, be careful about that because it will take up all the power in your system pretty much. I don't know about that, but okay, that got in there somehow. I'm not sure how that got in there in the uh, storage bus filter. So the silver blocks were going directly back in there. But uh, but yeah, anyway, so we've got these two guys who aren't even touched yet. I got two of them that are still in good shape, and the rest are, you know, some are pretty much used, some are half used. So doing all right. We could. You know, I could add a whole nother drive and a bunch of storage and stuff, but 
I think that's pretty good for now. So we're pretty set upstairs, we're pretty set downstairs, and once this fills up again I can go and combine the ferrous and the copper and all the stuff that comes through, and we should be alright. So, I think that's it for this episode, guys. Lovely sunrise for you. Here, let's go on over. Yay. Nice sunrise up over the horizon here. I guess it should be a sunset for the end of the episode. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you enjoyed as always, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.